Yo, so guys, you got Pokemon here. Today we are about to play for the Smogon World Cup. I'm about to play my boy TDK, very good player. I'll be using this Bandit or Shifu team that I really, really like, courtesy of the base lord himself. For those that don't know about Smogon World Cup, basically you're representing where you're from. I'm uh, representing Team uh, US Northeast, and TDK is representing Team US South. But there's also like you know teams like Brazil and Italy and things like that. So it's a lot of fun tour stuff. If you guys like the tournament stuff, uh, let me know by leaving a like. Also subscribe um, if you're new to the channel. I'm on my way to 300k. That's my end of the year goal. And obviously, if everybody who watches this video subscribes, I can get there. Now I don't play a lot of OU in tournaments. I'll be completely honest, but I'm. Uh, it's always, it's always fun to get my like game in in World Cup, so hoping I can do uh, okay today. And also, let me know if you guys like the tournaments, because that definitely encourages me to keep entering them. As not only am I liking them more, but as long as people are liking them too, it's like, you know, it's a win-win it's for both of us. But yeah, we'll be right back with the battle. Alright guys, so here we have the game versus TDK. Um, Not the worst matchup, not the best, I would say. Weavile is pretty decent, but they do have Melmetal and stuff. They do have the Boomer as well. I do have the Boomer too, uh, which I think is pretty good here. Um, yeah, let's see how this ends up going because, like, I'm thinking that Torn and stuff are so good versus me, but my Rocky Helmet on Corviknight's gonna be good. Multiple knockoff users, so that's something I want to be aware of. I want to use my Garchomp to the best of my ability uh, and basically try and outplay them with our Shifu. That's kind of gonna be my goal this game. I don't need my uh, Assault Vest on this Slow King, so that's good to say the least. And, um,. Yeah, I mean, we'll end up seeing how this goes. Melmetal, I think, I'm assuming it's aromatherapy on Clef, so I'm not going to be too, like, caught up in uh, putting future sites, uh, excuse me, poison on Torn and stuff like that. Though I will do it initially. Let me just see some stuff. Run a few calcs. Tornadus. OUD fog. Surgeon strikes is 91 or whatever, but sometimes they run like 88 defense. So I will need some chip on it. Uh, they, I'll, I'll, I'll pay attention to that later. But I like Weavile a lot. Good lead matchup versus everything besides Clef. And I can just switch out to Slow King. I mean, the, the steals I can switch out to into Garchomp, so I'll be okay. But yeah, we're going to start Weavile because I think Torn is super, super strong versus me. And just a good start. Uh, would this be Sewer Power? No freaking way. You have Gastrodon. Yep. So we're going to knock this Clefay boy immediately. Let's see if this Rocky Helmet... It was Rocky Helmet, so that's going to help out. That did 17 to Clef. Clefable. Let me see. So that's Fizz Def, which means that my Urshifu's close combat. 32 to 38. Surgeon Strike to 63 to 65. Not bad. Okay. So, Slow King is always going to be my play. We do see a T-Wave come out. That's okay. Uh, especially because I can now just throw off a Future Sight. I'm assuming Thunder Wave, Moonblast, some other crap that I can't really touch. Um, yeah, I like the Future Sight either way. I think it just helps me out a lot. Like I said, I don't super need my Assault Vest in this game, I think. So I'm going to throw off a Sludge Bomb. I did so much damage. If I get a Poison on this, I'll be I'll go a long way, obviously. And we'll throw off a Future Sight now as a U-turn out. I'm assuming into maybe Heatran. Or Gastrodon comes out. Nice. So I get the future side off, which is cool. Uh, this Mon is extremely annoying for me, though, so I want to be careful. I can't go hard into Rillaboom, obviously, as much as I want to. Earth Power, Toxic. Do they always run Ice Beam? Recover, Scald, Earth Power, Toxic. If I go Garchomp, I'm letting myself be super weak to Heatran, so I have to be careful here. But I can't risk my Rillaboom. I think I have to go Garchomp. I'm going to assume they knock off here. I'm going to Toxic once, just to get the chip for that way the Shifu Surging Strike for later. Cool. And I'm assuming they hard switch. They kind of hard. They have to hard switch now. So we got some big damage off on. Uh, we got some really big damage off on Torn. Super super big damage off on Torn. Um, they're trying to open up obviously this game plan. What would they go here? Clefable makes the most sense. I'm gonna make the slow king play. Yeah, 
And now I'm going to make the Rillaboom play into our Shifu. Did not think they'd go out to Melmetal, to be honest, but it makes sense. I thought they'd go Gastrodon. Um, we do want to be very, very careful here. We do have a Rocky Helmet on Corp, so we're kind of forced to do this. Oh, that's a little annoying. But not the end of the world. Especially because I'm going to be forced to U-turn here. Nice. Gonna use this to get a new. Oof, is that a too is that too risky of a double? I'm a future site. I'm gonna leave a future site. Nice. And we should be able to bring out our Garchomp here, I think, semi safely. Because they don't want to go cleft. Because if I earthquake onto that, they get smashed. They may Toxic here. I think I always go Garchomp. If they U-turn out to Clef, they get smashed. I'm going to Dragon Tail. No. Uh, I don't want to be super, super weak to a Heatran, but like getting rid of this speed tier is so good for me. I'm going to do it. Let's see if we can get back in the... Uh, Come on, bro. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's not the end of the world, to be honest, but HP was restored. That would have been a good Dragon Tail to get on that, but we do have Rillaboom Week, which is really nice for my own Rillaboom. Good Torn play. We do have Rillaboom Week. I would have loved to try and kill Torn there. I'm assuming they defog, yeah. So we're going to Future Sight once more, if possible. Mamado's Thunder Wave, probably Leftovers. And I, I have a Corviknight that always comes in on this now because I'm, I'm paralyzed, so... And now I can get my safe... U Sir? That did 13%. Oh, Future Sight comes out, duh. Alright, we're going to roll you. Because you smash right now. <laughs> I really want to click Surging Strikes. I really, really, really want to click Surging Strikes. It does kill these guys. If I CC, they just straight up die and they can't kill me back. I'm going for Surging Strikes. Because if I kill Torn, I'm in such a good position, man. But if they Toxic, it's worse for me. But I can always bring out you. How much did uh, U-Turn do? 13%? So they're more Fizz Def oriented. But not fully Fizz Def oriented. They have, they're mixed defensive. Which means Close Combat blows them back. Uh, what is my Pokemon again? Or Shifu? I'm gonna CC once. Ooh, big damage! Very big damage. Should have Surgeon Strikes there, but at least now I put the Fear of God into them. Definitely should have seen uh, Surgeon Strike there though, but now we know. Super, super close to mashing with this. I definitely want to start knocking some items too. I think I'll always go you. Nice. This is a free uh, Future Sight again. I'll be in that position one more time as long as I'm able to Future Sight. I'm assuming Heatran might want to come out at some point, but. Exact same thing, I always go Corvi here. Now let's... Ah, that sucks. Gotta keep myself healthy for Urshifu when things... Come on, man! 
Thank you. Okay, like I said, I gotta keep myself healthy for Shifu and stuff like that. <laughs> Free Earthquake, 32. I'm okay. I'm 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 legitimately okay with that. Is now I can get you out and start pressuring with sludge bombs. Yeah, future sight's still better. Weavile does not make that much sense here. Sludge bomb into these two. I might have messed up on my guard chomp. I really want to make the Urshifu play, dude. Okay, I gotta be a little bit more patient, because I can definitely smash them with Rillaboom. This is a little safer. Garchomp takes this. So now they can't lose a Mon at all. I think I still risk Garchomp on the Magma Storm. And now we go Urshifu. And this is where I have to get plays right. <laughs> Would they go Gastro on me? I think they go Clef always first. Damn, man, I should have Surging Striked. What is this? I think he's Storm Zone. I should have Surging Striked a little bit earlier. I don't think they ever can risk Tornadus. I think they will either go Gastro or Sack Rillaboom. I don't think you can ever risk Tornadus here. Yeah, they went Clefable, nice. Ooh, that did so much damage, let's go. Alright, bro. I'm getting smashed. <laughs> Damn, man. He's out playing me. Okay. Uh... Glow King. The problem is Clef is just back at health. I have to weaken this guy so I can win the game with my Rillaboom, I think. But if I lose this guy, I lose a pivot into everything. Yeah, and if they hurricane here, I'm screwed. Damn it, man. Alright, calm down. You can win this game for sure. You definitely win this game. Yeah, if I clip if I hit clef, I just clip him with close combat. Do I stay in here? I feel like rocks are so like I feel like they always U-turn. You turn so safe. But I want to predict this U-turn out into Gastrodon and then close combat. <sighs> yeah. Alright, thank God I didn't stay in. Come on, bro. I need damage on my... I need to get some damage off, bro. Okay, you, I have to U-turn here. Okay, so I have Future Side on my side now, which means I get a kill. I don't think you can ever, why are you risking Gastro? Okay, I can take some more Scalds though. Hella didn't live. I'm gonna have to try and SD weave all of them. Ninety three. Thirty five, which means or They're not.
doing 35, which means close combat literally obliterates them. <laughs> this is bad. Okay. I mean, I can still dodge hurricanes at the end of the day. It's just the Mel Metal is like looking really big for me too. All right, I dodge a Magma Storm, which is really important. Ha! <laughs> he gets me there. He's just—he's just getting all the fifty-fifties right, and then he's smashing me with it. Which means you're always gonna scald here. I'm gonna future say once because I live this. <sighs> He's gonna scald this turn. I hate that I have to risk Rillaboom. Corviknight at plus one. 33 to 39. I have to risk my boomer. Please don't get burnt. 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 <sighs> okay. This might just be over. This might legitimately be over. <laughs> I mean, if I can keep dodging. I can't believe I got every play wrong versus that thing, though. Oh, I got one right versus Torn, which is nice. They literally cannot stay in. They're going to go Gastrodon. Means I get to Roost once. Cool. I can CC in the Gastro. So, which is why I'm going to Surgeon Strike here. I feel like they go Tornadus now. I really feel like they go Tornadus now. He doesn't have to make the play, but I feel like I have to make some sort of play now to mess him up. Like, I feel like you're going to go Torn. I'm so close to a CC smash, though. Which is what I got to aim for. Right, he didn't go Torn, which is nice. Yeah, they went to Torn this turn. I got the chip. I got chip for gra uh, for Grassy Glide. Burnt. Burnt status. Taught the 15. You're insane if you risk this, though. Because it's still risk to crit. They thunder punched and did a million percent. Their choice banned Thunder Wave. Okay, so I get a, a guaranteed kill here with close combat. And then they just kill me every single but I do, I do get a guaranteed kill here with close combat, which is nice. Um That was literally 50-50s. How much did my close combat do last time? I might have to dodge. Legitimately, might have to dodge. It was coming to 50%.
I have six CCs left. I think I have to dodge. Fuck. Yeah, I, I legitimately think I had to dodge at some point. Man. Every 50 50. <laughs> Every single one. What could I have done differently? I mean, I can still crit, right? Don't get me wrong, I can still crit. I can still crit. Does this kill on a crit? Like, if this kills on a crit, like, this is... I mean, I had to go for it, right? Metal. I literally have to crit here. 78 to 80. Like, I, I literally have to go for the crit. Didn't get it. Ah, man. Mm. GG. I definitely think that... I, I mean, it was 50-50s. I had to just get every single one right. I literally had to get every single 50-50 right. That was about it. Like, and I think I had to go off a dodge at the end. That was literally it. But... And I'm sorry to my team. Hopefully the rest of them can carry. Uh, I don't think I played it too poorly, personally. I just think that... Also hitting Rillaboom with Dragon Tail. Potentially getting in Torn, which would have killed it. Would have been really nice, too. But, yeah. I don't know, man. That was definitely rough. But, uh... You see... Yeah, I... I li I literally got parried every turn I tried to like roost and you turn too, but that's para for you, right? Let me see this. Feature site there. I got in Corvi, Garchomp, which means this play. He did get me here though. He 100% got me here. Which is really good. But yeah. Anyway, sorry to my team for sure. Uh, every bit of chip on this guy would have mattered for that too, but I mean, that's Thunderwave for ya. Yeah. But. The roost off, and I got burnt immediately on Rillaboom, which really hurt. I didn't think I had another risk anyway. Let me see this. Surging Strikes, Rillaboom, Scald. Yeah, that was rough, man. And it being Thunder Wave choice, Ben. I think right here, if I dodge, I win, obviously. Because they just get smashed by it. And if I crit here, I can win too. But, all right. All right, just some quick post-game thoughts now that I've eaten. <laughs> um, I think that some things I could have done a little bit better, I, I don't regret any of the 50-50s in terms of what I did because they're 50-50, they're coin flips, right? Like, they have a water immunity, they have fighting resist, that's whatever, right? I had tried to position myself with Future Sight, and I do think that there was a, a turn where I got uh, para with my Corviknight versus Gastrodon where it was basically a kill because everything got two-shot by my Urshifu. But I do think there was a few things I could have done a little bit better. Um, I think the one thing... I'm going to skip a couple turns right here. Blah, blah. Corviknight. Here. So turn 20. Instead of going uh, Urshifu. Which, I mean, I, I don't regret going Urshifu. Because, again, this is still a 50-50 in itself. Will they stand or not? But, I mean, that's what it is. I think I should have went Rillaboom. Now, I... Because my Rillaboom is bulky, I can live a Hurricane from non-Special Attack Invested Torn. It actually does like 99% max, but I don't I don't know their Heatran set, and I don't know their Melmetal set. Um, I've only seen Thunder Wave at this point, right? I'm trying to explain my thought process, but also why it could have been different. Now, uh, the Heatran could have been Special Defensive because Lele messes them up, but I only saw Thunder Wave on Melmetal, so I don't know if that's Special Defensive Thunder Wave Melmetal, I don't know if it's Protective Pads, it ends up being banded with Thunder Wave, obviously, but I don't know at that point. So, maybe what I could have done here was, instead of going out into uh, Urshifu, was bring out Rillaboom and Swords Dance up, because I live the attack from Tornadus, and I could use it to tr kind of trade into one of the steals. Um, now this doesn't work if they have a, a significant amount of special attack investment on their Heatran and they land a Megastorm because I am slower than them. Um, but I could potentially knock off the Melmetal to live every hit because knockoff would always be my play before Drain Punch. And I would obviously find out it's Choice Band. So if it went for Double Iron Bash, I'd be able to live it after knocking it off. And then more importantly, uh, weakening one of the two steals for Weavile in the end game. I think it still would have been a little bit rough and it also would depend on the Heatran sets and the Melmetal sets. Um, 
which again I didn't know it was choice band at that point but I think that's something I could have done a little bit differently and obviously uh, I was punished on the turn well these pairs obviously suck too because I wasn't able to U-turn I bring myself in again but I was obviously punished on the turn that I did bring out Rillaboom on the uh, on the Gastrodon and I got Skullburn uh, had I not got Skullburn, maybe I still could have done something there, but that was my fault because I, I brought it in with 30% chance. Even if it's in my favor, it's still my fault. I'm the one who risked it, right? Uh, you can't play with fire like that, literally. <laughs> so uh, that's basically, I think, the only thing I do regret or think I could have done differently. Um, I don't regret, you know, close combating slash charging strike with Urshifu. Every turn with that mod was a 50-50 period. Um, and had one future site gone my way, then I could have gotten a kill with CC still. But I think TDK played really good, and I, I, I really respect this play right here. When I Surging Striked into them, and then I switched out into Rillaboom expecting Gastrodon. I guess technically also right here, I could have I could have stayed in Insora's Dance, but I didn't want to risk them paralyzing me, which would be very, very annoying. They didn't even risk paralyzing me, which is funny. Like, they, I guess they were scouting for the Banded Woodhammer. They ended up going Heatran, so had I SD'd here too... There's a decent shot, depending on their heat set. Again, if they're really offensive, they can kill me. Um, but if they were not, I could kill them with Drain Punch and then kind of go from there. Nothing really wants to take the hit. So, yeah, uh, they expected my my Slow King, obviously. And I obviously went there. They Hurricane, yep. I got full Paralyzed on a Future Sight, which really hurt. Because then I had to stay in instead of going Corviknight and switching. I got Crit here as well. It's a little bit annoying because now I can't switch into two skulls. I'm trying to think like, but again, like these are the situations where I can potentially get these plays right and do a lot with it. I ended up U-turning here. I think Tornadoes was at 65, 65 plus regen, so it would have been full Clefable. So they expected me to go for Surging Strikes. I went for U-turn because I didn't want to um, close combat into Torn again because my Corviknight was weak and everything. So a uh, Torn into a U-turn, into Heatran, would mean that I'd be killed by two Scalds from Gastron anyway. So, or like Scald into like Moonblast, especially if they end up getting up rocks at one point with their with their Heatran in the game, which they could easily go for rocks because I had a lot of Scar Charm at that point. I'm just trying to think, like, that's the only thing. That's the main thing right there. Get you out. I got full Paralyzed here on a, I don't know if I U-turned or Roosted there, uh, but I brought Shifu and Dodge, so it's fine either way. I'll look back at it, but... Yeah, and they get me on this play. Like, it's just, yeah. So, I mean, they, these are 50-50s in itself, but I think the, the big thing was bring out Rillaboom, risk potentially Heatran being a more offensive set because uh, Spadef is kind of likely because it helps him out with Lele, but between Thunder Wave, a Gashadon, yeah, Psyshock is annoying, but, like, it's not like Spadef Heatran deals with Psyshock. Fizzdef does, right? And they have Melmetal as well, and they have Terrain Changing too, so. I'm just trying to think, like, what could have been done differently besides um, clicking correctly again coin flips with Roshifu uh, and maybe if I didn't want to do that way maybe the other way was using Weavile early instead of using Rillaboom early using Weavile early to chip these guys so that way Rillaboom could end game because I know Rillaboom can live at least one hurricane as long as it didn't have any damage on it like it does 99% max from non-invested so yeah that's basically it um, obviously turn 53 was really big for them uh, the burn, because otherwise I would have been at 89% uh, at the end of the turn, and then I could have SD'd there and been at 100% so they couldn't kill me, so that really did hurt, but still, that's my fault for risking that. That was completely my fault for risking that. But yeah, thank you for watching. I just wanted to give my overall thoughts on that, like how I could have done things a little bit better. Um, I could definitely want to improve as I play. Always improve when you play. That's what you should you should aim for to get better all the time, right? You shouldn't be stagnant with it. But, um, <laughs> look at those rolls, 28, 34, 32, screw you, game, if this was a 30, <laughs> I didn't even realize that looking at that, I'm just looking at it right now, like, screw you, game, that easily could have done 30 <laughs> and been enough, but, alright, we're done with that, thank you for watching, um, I have more tournaments, I am in Grand Slam playoffs, uh, I'm in a doubles tournament as well, which I think, Think should already have been uploaded at least round two because I got a round one by maybe even round three of that at this point when this goes up because I know this is going to go up not this week but in the the next week 
since I'm a little bit busy and I have a lot of things planned, like the stuff with Freeze Eye as well. But uh, yeah, so whenever you guys see this, I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.